Guess who's back? Back again. Uguay's back. He's a racist. The master has returned. Last time we talked about Mr. Uguay, he was spitting bars. He was saying how Mr. Mustache used to be his homie. Is my nick we also talked about in the last video on how much effort he puts into his video. What a hard working content creator, funny content creator he is. Since my grand, great, 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 great grandparents are slaves, I am allowed to say it as well. Nigga. Guys, I'm never going to say this word in an offensive way. I will only use it for comedic value. And honestly, I don't know why people were hating on him in the first place. He was obviously just joking about the whole thing. Well, there has been some updates to this situation, and I thought, let me take you on that journey with me. Just a few days after I made, and the thousand other YouTubers, they made a video about Master Ugwe on what kind of a, you know, good human being he is. He posted this on his Twitter saying, wow, the haters that Swam reported me actually did it. I'm permanently banned from YouTube. 7 million subscribers gone bam this is a message he gave to youtube saying hope you guys will reconsider this as i definitely changed my content for the better and did he change his content nope it got worse youtube literally looked at his direction and told them look i i hope you you're looking for jobs now because you are never going getting back on this platform why because of the naggings that he did over the past few months every any small thing that happens that it is 100 percent his fault he's going to take it to twitter and say team youtube you guys banned me for no reason and with this tweet he said people are hating on me for no reason team youtube i hope you guys will reconsider this and give me my account back my friend honestly at this point give up like it, it's not worth it to embarrass yourself more what did i do i just said mr mustache is my homie and i just said the m word like 300,000 million times I didn't do anything wrong. All these people are saying all these other things. He always blames it on other people and compares his shit to the other people. And there's a video about this that he explained, but we're going to get to it later on the, in the video. Master Ugwe is literally Homelander, but if everyone actually knew all around the world that what kind of a person he is. He plays the victim. He plays the... They are trying to cancel me, guys. See, everyone else is doing this, but when I do it, I get banned. He just nags like a baby left and right. And usually when someone goes through this type of backlash, they make an apology video the classic youtube apologies where i like to take this time and reflect on my past actions of something something i, I forgot really what, what was the famous line that they said i should be setting an example it was not okay i'm embarrassed by my own actions from the bottom of my heart i'm sorry at the beginning when he started getting his backlash because of his music video he went full on nagging mode on youtube saying how it is unfair that you guys treat me different than the other creators you guys are against me you you want you want me to fail and usually people come up with an apology video right and his form of apology video wasn't actually a video it was a text but he was being a decisive girl who doesn't know what she wants to wear to go out he was saying sorry but not sorry fuck you so, but sorry and after i checked out his tiktok i expected like a proper youtube apology where he sits in front of the camera without any sound effects and just speaks to the camera i'm sorry guys i will do better i will be better but he took the apology video to the next level it was really creative to be honest guys i'm gonna comment on every video that uses this sound this is my apology song let's show the world that i'm sorry i'm sorry It looks like he's definitely taking this whole thing seriously because it's not like it's a career ending stuff or reputation ending stuff, right? This is his form of apology video. He made a whole ass song. And guess what, Mr. Ugwe? You know who's going to forgive you? The 10 year olds who don't really give a shit about their actions. But anyone above the age of 16, they're going to just shit on you because this isn't it. Like, it's not that hard just to sit in front of the camera and just apologize and say, realize your mistakes. I promise you, there are going to be people letting you off the hook and saying, okay, it's fine. It's not like you went and you tickled some, you know, cupcakes. You're not in a doctor to suspect situation. You're just in a very unlikable situation. Some people hate you because they don't find you funny. I used to find you funny. You're not funny anymore. Like, I don't think you will ever be. But it is very easy to forgive and just move on and let the people who actually enjoy your content watch you after you apologized properly and he posted this tiktok explaining why he is allowed to say the n-word you can't say that bro i disagree my great 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 grandparents used to be slaves during the ottoman empire so i have a history of slavery so i can't say it but i will only say it 
doing funny moments. <laughs> I don't want to offend anyone. So 4% of his blood used to be slaves, but he wasn't with them physically. He was with them spiritually and mentally. He, he felt what they felt. So that gives him permission to make memes about slavery and just jokes i don't even know why um, to be honest with you i'm not really mad about what he said it's just on how he's representing himself afterwards and just his form of apology and the way he's talking he's he's thinking like if he can be a little bit funny he can let people chill off guys i'm a chill person like you i'm actually let me make you laugh so maybe you'll forget it you know what this reminds me of the death noodle situation when he was getting canceled and people were hating on him he was just using sarcasm and he was not confronting the real problem and just moving on with your life he is trying to milk views from that as from this the situation that he got, got himself as well and i think it's a very big mistake he should just sit apologize and just get on with it because there are still people for some reason they still find them funny because people got different humors for example you like watching a certain niche but you like this youtuber covering it but you don't like the other covering it it just works like that some people bring like this person's personality some people don't it's like people with different humors and he also went on and he's defending his actions saying why this is another nagging video saying why central c can say certain words in his vi music video but i whenever i say it i get cancelled yo i'm back wait don't be upset i made this song to prove a point i used to make videos where i cursed and that would get me banned but then i would hear a song of central c saying well, how can I be homophobic? My uh, yeah. so and then also someone <laughs> some song where they say I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. You know I'm not gonna say the word because it's racist, but it pissed me off the fact that that was loud and I wasn't allowed to curse in my videos. I don't think singing about the Mr. Mustache being your homie is a curse word. I, I truly I truly don't believe that that's the case. And there's a borderline with certain things you can say and some things you cannot. No matter how fucked your humor is, what, no matter what you in your community, what sick jokes you guys get off of. Because these donkeys make black market jokes and once they get banned, they're like, why am I get banned? It was a joke, guys. It was a joke. You can't be like, oh, I went to this cupcake and I forced myself on her and I tickled her booty hole. And then she started crying, but I was like, why are you crying? It doesn't even hurt because I have a two inch... It's, there's like a borderline that things you cannot cross, things you cannot say, things that are unfunny, even if it's like racist or it's curse words or whatever it is. It's just not funny and it's extremely offensive. I'm all about dark humor. Trust me, I'm all about that. And the videos you used to post before, don't let your girlfriend go out because she will be eating, flying, I don't know what. You know what I mean. But when he talks about these type of things, he tries to take it to the next level because the more offensive it is, the more dark humor it is. This is not dark humor. This is black marker type of shit. The more dark it is, there's going to be more comments in his video and that equals to more engagement that's what gets him popular his youtube channel is completely removed but there is a fan page who is claiming to be master Ugwe, but it's definitely an eight-year-old trying to collect views and money i don't know i don't think he's monetized but he is getting a lot of traction because he's posting master Ugwe's old clips and some of the new ones on this youtube channel what's up guys i just wanted to give you guys an update why i got banned everyone thinks it's because of my uh, austrian painter song uh, Austrian Painter is my N-word song, but that's far from the truth. Um, what I got banned is just from community guideline strikes, um, but silly ones as well. Uh, I got banned for a video that is extremely harmless. Unfortunately, I cannot show his harmless type of videos anymore because his account, his whole 7 million subscriber account got banned. But you know, if you're familiar with his situation, you know what type of videos he used to post. I'm going to show you guys what, what the video is. As you can see, it's just a silly joke, you know? There are many, many other videos like this out there. I'm pretty sure if you made this video, nothing would happen. But for some reason, uh, people spam reported me. 
I currently have a lot of haters. If this is the case, this is the reason why you got banned because of community strikes. If you're not familiar with it, you only get three strikes and in a spam of 90 days, each strike will expire. So if you get in like 90 days, three strikes back to back, your whole account is going to get terminated. Now, in this situation, you are the donkey. Because if you know you already have two active community strikes, why would you even post these type of videos? And now, because uh, they had the chance to try to ruin my career, they do their best and uh, they're all jumping on the hype to cancel me. So uh, yeah, that's what's happening right now and uh, it's crazy. I'm sure YouTube realizes this mistake. Uh, YouTube knows all about me as well. Uh, they removed my songs even on uh, this account. So yeah, I'm sure that YouTube knows that this um, video that got removed is a mistake. The algorithm uh, didn't see it properly. And I hope I just get reinstated. Because imagine, guys, giving four years of your life to a platform and they don't even want to. I'm going to save you the headache of him going on a rant again for how he works so hard for his content, making 15 seconds videos and saying the N word in them. But the way it looks like he's not getting his account back, even if he goes to the headquarters, get on his knees and give gagas to every single employee over there he's still not going to get unbanned he still hasn't properly just sat down and point blank just say i'm sorry just move on that's it just say sorry but every time he says he's sorry but they do this why can't i do this it's, it's not fair and what he did next to save his name save his reputation and career you will not believe it if i told you I just gotta show you. This is day seven of donating one cent to Palestine for every follower I gain, which is around $84 that I've donated to Paula, who's trying to get her family to escape Gaza. This is the family's Instagram if you wanna donate as well. This was his grand master plan of making people like him again. Imagine using this word the people who lost their family members, their friends, their everything in their life to gain followers on his Instagram and TikTok page. It's not only pathetic, it is fucking disgusting. I don't care if he was donating $1 or $10 for every followers he gets and sends thousands and thousands to them. It's just fucking disgusting of the act he does. Usually when people want to do it, they do it for the goodness of their heart. You know, to some, sure, if it's a large amount, I don't judge people who post and say, oh, I donated like this amount of money. Good for you. You share, you motivate people to do the same thing. But when you say, guys, I will send money, only if you like me. I had 1% of respect for him left for the old time sex since we both started at the same time doing TikTok meme videos. But it just went out the window. It is minus zero right now. He still hasn't learned his lesson the way it looks like. He's not ever going to learn his mistake. Next time you go to McDonald's, he'll be serving you some food. God knows where he'll be working. But I am 100% sure that social media is done with him. People are still going to his comments, giving him engagement by hate commenting on his videos but that's gonna die as well no one's really gonna care anymore all he'll be stuck with is 10 year old followers he's like master Uguay, master Uguay. then master Uguay is going to be like what 30 years old while the his community are all like 16 17 that that's about it they're gonna move on with their life and master Uguay is gonna be the sad old man who sits and he's like my bitch say goo goo gaga laugh guys laugh okay. Okay, like me, I will send money to to the uh, people in Africa. L like me! Long story short, he ruined the Kung Fu Panda animation for all of us and just gave Master Uguay a very bad reputation. And that's just about it. Anyways, just wanted to talk about this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you came so far, give it a like, give it a sub. We're still trying to grow this community, so I gotta remind you every time because your memory is like a goldfish as well. But anyways, thank you for yourself. I'll see you at the next one.